Today, I head into the countryside to explore and investigate this haunting abandoned mansion that's been left to decay for decades. Built in 1830, the mansion looks like it belongs in a horror movie, but inside the house had been left almost completely frozen in time when the last occupants vanished. Once inside, I find the last residents had left so suddenly that the tables were still sat, their personal possessions left untouched, now covered in a layer of dust and cobwebs. Portraits of the family's ancestors still hang on the wall today, as if they were watching over the home they once occupied. Is a home truly abandoned if the family's spirits remain trapped inside? Today we take a look inside and find out. Okay, explorers, we are inside the house now, the mansion. The size of this place, absolutely unreal. Completely full of stuff. It's quite trashed in this room, it looks like. But check out the old lampshades. You can see it's quite dark as it's all shuttered up. But there is old writing desks, old photographs. Oh, look at that doll just sat there. Ooh. There is a basement, which we will check out later on. We are just going to push forward, see how much we can see. Oh, it does open out. All crystal in there, crystal glasses. And more storage, it looks like, in this end of the house. Check that out, a little boy there. But look at these big wooden chests cobwebs absolutely everywhere in this place i'm literally stood on top of so much stuff but like i said it does open up once you get into the house oh you can see there a lot tidier front entrance all boarded you can see summer hats on the top there bikes just everything's left Scarves and jackets on that coat stand. And like I said, more bikes. But this is the interesting part I want to get into. Check this room out. Absolutely beautiful. Com beautiful. Com oh, I heard something then as I shut the door. Just completely frozen in time. Look at this lady here. Possible owner of the house at one point And same as this one Happy here Look at that face Only a mother could love Look at these old books though Full of dust, cobwebs It is crazy, it is such a shame as well And this is where obviously the last owner would have come Sat, read his books Or her books more books on top of this absolutely amazing stone fireplace look at the details in there dining room table wow this is crazy family photographs from in here is it i'm not sure guys it's vibes in this place it is exactly how you'd imagine a haunted mansion this dresser Seen better days? Not sure, looks like old tickets for something. Big old sofa just in the corner here. Vinyls just sat in the corner. Wow. Cobwebs just hanging from everywhere. It does look like blueprints for the house as well here. House built in 1830. Check this room out guys. Absolutely stunning. 
the checkered floor, the table still sat, dust just covering these wine glasses and wine bottles. Wow, what do we have here? Is that a map of where we are? I'm not sure guys, but the dresser's filled. All your entertaining purposes. Plates, glasses, cups, wine pourers. Crystal down the bottom here. We do have a clock on the wall which just fell apart. What a shame. Wow. Check this kitchen though. Kitchen has been ransacked. You can't even get in there. I'd love to check this fridge as well. Should we try? Oh, it looks empty to me guys. But you can see the artwork up there. Photographs. But the place is just ransacked. There's old bullets, shotgun bullets. Shotgun shells in that box. Wallpaper peeling away. Who's this gentleman? Very stern looking fella. Contrast to the men in drag that we have here. Love these old vases, antiques. Cupboards just full. But check this out. Beautiful marble fireplace. Children's old bicycle. Just sat in front. Armchairs either side. Rocking chair here. Artwork, plates. Antiques. Another cupboard just full of glassware. Pottery. What a shame to see it like this. Some of the plates have actually fell out and on the floor there. I am excited to investigate a place like this. Look at the marbles. Obviously an old marble collection. More maps. TV just sat on the side. And then these little dudes. Guys, some of the rooms are beyond explorable, but we are just gonna have a look around, see as much as we can, and then we are gonna investigate this place. I've had friends that have come here and said they will never come back. Said it's beyond creepy. So, fingers crossed we'll get some good results. Just gonna head up this spiral staircase now. Check this out. Beautiful, crazy wallpaper. Who's this dude? Just sat on the stairs. Wow. Has actually been looted quite bad. We'll go through that in a sec. Oh, it's a bit brighter up here. Looks like office furniture. Old family photographs. Just sat here, 1965, 1964. Little babies and that. I am just stood on top of a mountain of personal possessions. Kids drawing here, photos, amazing fireplace that we can't see properly. And look at this, that's not very uh, safe is it? We're not even going to be able to get to that room I don't think, not without damaging a load of stuff but it just looks ransacked in there too. Nearly went flying. Looks like we've got a lot of old negatives here. Old photographs. Can't see what they are though. Got some religious memorabilia. Postcards from all around the world. Crazy to see. The old pictures. Let's see if I can grab that. Oh my days, that's creepy, isn't it? Ooh, we'll run into them in a dark alley. Once again though, just ransacked, looted, all pulled out, all over the floors. Such a shame. Oh wow. Check this room out. Old vintage cot, mum's armchair next to it. Obviously where she'd look after the baby. Is this her? Is she still here? 
and more religious artifacts, old portraits, absolutely amazing. Looks like there was twins or something here, sisters. Looks like twins. One of the twins is blurred out. But look how old these are. Seriously. Just trying to look for a date there. Baby's cot. Blacked out eyes on the doll. No need for that whatsoever. It is a shame to see these houses ransacked. But obviously, not much you can do about it. We will just explore the place for what it is. And investigate. I just heard a voice. Yo. Hello? Books filling this bookshelf. Oh, that's locked. I wonder what was in there. The old handwritten letters here. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's absolutely bloody terrifying. It's the smile of a serial killer. Sorry about that, but it is. Oh, attic. Just see what we can see. Ah, that's that room we couldn't get into round there. Yeah, this is the room we couldn't get to. And look at this. Immediately caught my eye. Who the hell is that? Why do they all look so angry, guys? They all look absolutely fuming. But I am struggling to walk around this place. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, look, the wall's falling away there. It's a shame. Making such a noise. I am trying not to damage anything as I'm walking around, but not much you can do guys seriously looks like a child's bedroom desks single bed can we get in there a little chair blocking my way oh look at this the old photographs just sat on the desk here I absolutely adore them old books looks like there was two beds in here this one's tipped over. Three, sorry. Three beds in here. Definitely a children's bed. The magazine's here from 1973. Oh, let's check this room out next. 1987. All these slides. Hello? Another baby there. Oh, let's check this room. Two old chairs. Oh, we can see straight down to the bottom. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. It's a ch little chapel in here. That's crazy. Look at the pictures of the saints. Is that Jesus? Jesus has lost his head in the middle. Somebody's knocked that right off. But look at the candles. Rosemary beads. I'm guessing Catholic then. And who are they in the corner there? But that is absolutely amazing. And who's that? She looks like she's got horns. But check out the rosemary beads. Very religious family. Wow. That is different. Here we go, more bedrooms it looks like. Well, I think... Oh Jesus. Oh look at that portrait over in the corner. Oh it's just ransacked. You can't even get in here. But the old desk over there, the chair, you can see a lady's hats, portrait, artwork up on the walls. What a shame. Ooh. Creaky. Bathroom. Oh, floor felt a bit dodgy there. 
black mold coming up. We still have the woman's comb here. Soap, maybe the toilet packed in. Got a little camping toilet here. And then the bath. What a shame. Save water, shower with a friend. You saucy buggers. Oh, I'm just struggling to get through here. Oh, this is more like it, guys. Cleared out bedroom. Nice and neat. Old suitcase. Baby's cot. TV that's been smashed in. Artwork up. Look at the decay here. All come down from the ceiling there. Drapes coming down quite hauntingly. And then the old desk. Still sat here. Armchair matching the ones downstairs. And a big double bed for whoever slept here. And then a last bedroom. Wow. 1900s France. A big old lamp. Another double bed here. Strange these rooms are a lot better condition. Old chest. It's full of old bits and bobs. And then the lamp, you can see how overgrown it is outside. I feel like somebody's touching my arm as I'm talking. It feels like a cobweb. I felt it before and I have actually spoke to people about it and they said when something touches you it feels like cobwebs and it's touching my arm right now. Okay, right guys, I think it's time to get the equipment out and see what we can get. Okay guys, so we are in the dining room. We have the spirit talker going on the table, K2, REM pod over in that corner, a music box facing the doorway in case anyone enters. <sighs> okay guys, so if there's anyone in this room with me now, the talking I heard earlier on, can you set one of these devices off for me? Can you speak to the device on the table like you have been doing? That'd be absolutely amazing. You can touch the red device in the corner. If you walk into the doorway or in front of that black device, it will set off a tune and also feel. feel. Also, if you touch this device, it will change colors and let me know if you're in the room with me. So you said that somebody was killed in this house. Is that correct? You can make any knocks to communicate with me too. You don't have to be nervous or shy. Nobody talks to us. Nobody talks to us. Well, I've come to speak to you today. You can speak to me too. You don't have to be shy. You don't have to be wary of me. I don't mean any harm whatsoever. Just touch this red device. I can show you how. You just grab hold of that antenna there. It'll let me know that you're in this room with me. You can also walk in front of this device. Hunt. Are you a fan of hunting? Do you want to hunt me? Do you want to hunt me? Come on, touch one of these devices. Be brave. You can use my energy. It is nervous energy. <laughs> You're being pretty quiet today. It's okay. You can do it in your own time. Just reach out. Touch one of the devices. Just heard a bang. Just heard a bang. That was quite clear as well. Is that you? We hear you. We hear you. 
Well, I'd like to hear you too. I'd like to know if you're here with me. I would absolutely appreciate it if you could just set one of these devices off for me. Don't hurt you at all. I know it takes a bit of energy. Poor. Poor. Were you poor? Were you a servant here then? Pretty quiet on the equipment front, but I am getting some relevant words through here. And I am also getting knocks and bangs. I heard a scream earlier. Was that you that was screaming outside? Do you know who that was? You don't really want to talk to me today, do you? If you want to tell me to leave, you can do. If you touch one of these devices, that'll mean you want me to leave. I can see the K2 in the mirror. So we're safe there. I'm gonna see if that goes off. Not playing with me today, but there is something here. I can feel it. I can also hear the knocks and bangs. Died in battle. <sighs> Died in battle. Were you a soldier in the war? World War Two? Maybe. Maybe. Is this you? Is this your portrait on the side here? Appreciate what you did. Caves. Caves. It's fine if you don't want to talk to me. Can you just touch one of these devices for me? That's all I'm asking. Window. Window? What about the window? I'm getting a lot of outside stuff. So I heard a scream outside. I have heard some knocks and bangs. I have heard tapping. And now little girl. Little girl. Little girl. The little girl in the portrait. I had a feeling she was in this house. Is the little girl in this room with me now? Can she touch the devices on the table? The toys? I do have another device that you can speak to if you just want to use your voice. Would you like that? I'm not talking today, guys. Devices are a no-go. Let's try an EVP, see if we get anything there. Okay, guys, so we're just going to do a quick necrophonic before we leave. I have left the devices running in the other room and I have set some cat balls up in this room. Fingers crossed we'll pick something up. But we'll just do a quick shout out session with the necrophonic and see what happens. So if there's anyone in this room with me, tell me your name. Her, James. Can you tell me who was killed in this house? Yes. Is there a reason you don't want to touch any of the devices? Do they scare you? Leave. Do you not like the devices? Do you not like me being here? Just got the girl through there. Wow. A lot of voices there. Can you speak one at a time for me, please? Is the ladies in these portraits here? Wow, so many voices. If you don't mind, can you touch one of these balls? There's some on the fireplace. One on the table, one on the chair. You're right. Can you tell me who was killed in this house? Wow. Girl. Is it the little girl? Is she still here? Leave. Gone. 
she's gone. Can you tell me if there is anyone in this house? It's quite difficult. Are you annoyed at the, the damage that's been done here? You annoyed at the state of your home now? That was strange. Think, Mama. Are you trying to get me to leave? Is that what you'd like? If you tell me clearly, I have no problem leaving. I don't mean any disrespect being here. It's definitely that little girl again. Hi. Is she the one that was killed here? Is she hiding? Or are you protecting her? Me and you. Is this the little girl's mother? Wow. A lot of responses there. I feel like somebody's in this doorway behind me. Okay guys, so I'm packing up and the cat ball on the table is just... <gasps> I'm not even in the room. I think they just don't want me around. Like they're obviously curious about the devices, but they're just not playing ball with me. So if I just step back and just watch out for a sec, Guys, that hasn't gone off the whole time we were in there. And now I've come out the way and it's going off. It was literally when I wasn't looking. I just noticed the ball going off. I'm going to ask. Can you touch that again for me, please? On the table? Make out I don't care. Right, so I'm not looking. <laughs> With my, uh, so I'm just packing some of the equipment up. Literally, this is what I was doing. And then I just seen it in the corner of my eye. And now I've noticed it, they've stopped doing it. So I definitely just feel like they're shy, maybe. I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but I think they're onto me. Definitely are. So if I just carry on as normal, I'm trying to peep. Something just touched my face, and then I heard running upstairs. I definitely feel like something's here. They're just not playing ball with me, maybe they just don't like me. But it's something strange going on in this house. I've heard screams, I've heard knocks and bangs, and the devices are going off when I'm not even in the room. I'm gonna head in there and get it. See what happens. Shivers. Yo, can you do that again? On the table there? Hmm. I'm gonna grab that one last. Guys. Thank you for doing that for me. Look, they're playing with it now. That's amazing. I think because I wasn't so pushy with it and asking, that they're more inclined. Maybe that's something for the future. Just try and ask a bit nicer, maybe. I do try, but... 
One more time, please, if you can. <gasps> yes. I'm happy because at least we've got something with the devices. It's not just what I'm hearing and seeing. I'm going to take this now. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, it's not just me hearing and seeing things. It's actual devices now. Okay guys, so we are just gonna head down to the basement now. Maybe just do a little SLS, just sit down there for a minute. See if we can come up with anything. So straight away, we're picking something up. That bottle obviously. But there seems to be a child there, over in the hallway area. Wow, sat down, arms folded. It seems to like be shifting to further away and then coming back towards. Just gonna keep the camera on him there. It does seem to be static, but you can actually see how it's sat. You can see arms folded, legs folded. Almost like they're hiding down here. Oh my god. Is there anyone else down here? Look. Can you come towards me? There you go. Come towards. There is a figure in the corner on the left as well. As well as the one in the corridor. It is picking up a bottle but it's literally picking up head, shoulders, legs in the corner as well as the one in the corridor is there any other spirits down here? <laughs> why? can you come towards me? were you hiding down here? Are you hiding from someone? Or are you stuck here? The little one seems to be coming more towards. But the one in the corner is just stood watching. Just watching me. I think I found the hiding place, guys. If you'd like me to leave, come towards me. The one in the left corner is getting a bit mad. The one on the right just seems to be watching, sat, hiding. Maybe that's the little girl. There's definitely something here.